Hey, my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, welcome back. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the messages and see what comes out for you guys at this time. Please remember that these are general messages. Only take the parts that resonate for you. If it's not for you, please don't try to make it for you. All right. Time and energy are fluid. I could be picking up on past, present, future energy, the energy of you, someone around you, somebody thinking about you, or somebody who you are thinking about. All right. I just heard social social distancing. Somebody could be taking a break from social media or you're thinking about it or you may be socially distancing yourself. Maybe you're going into hermit mode um, for a little while here. All right. So let's see. What's going on here? Shuffling for Libra. What do my Libras need to know at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit my Libras need to know at this time just give me a quick message quick message for my Libras quick message for the collective Holy Spirit I just heard it goes down in the DMs alright so I don't know something's going down in somebody's DMs honey what Something feels like it's about to like blow up or something. Like, I don't know. I've seen the five of wands, the seven of swords, the tower. Something feels like it's about to blow up. I don't know. Could be some type of argument or disagreement or something. It's not going to be for everybody. I'm just giving these cards a good shuffle, guys, because I haven't used them in so long. Give them a really good shuffle. I'm hearing penguin. I'm hearing flat footed. Something about penguins. Something about being flat footed. Maybe somebody waddles or walks like a penguin or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, three of swords on the bottom of the deck. This could be some type of hurt. Um, some type of heartache or heartbreak. I'm hearing some type of longing or somebody missing somebody here. All right. This could be your energy. The three of swords is um, you, Libra, or this is how somebody's feeling about you. Okay. What's the energy for Libra? Can you click message for Libra, please. What's going on? Holy, holy divine spirit, great angels, ancestors, spirit, God, spirit, team. Please give me clear and accurate messages for Libra at this time. What would you like Libra to know? What are the messages for Libra? I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please protect me as I channel these messages. Holy Spirit. All right, Nine of Pentacles. Single, abundant, prosperous. Okay, I heard, I heard intuitive. Somebody wants to offer you something, but it's like you're looking at their offer like um what is that it's like it's like you're um over here like look at all the stuff that you have right and then it's like this person look at what they're offering just a little tiny fish in a cup and you're looking at them like what am i supposed to do with that what is that okay all right what's going on here with libra I'm getting somebody coming to you humbly, though. I'm hearing I, I'm coming as humbly as I know how. Maybe this person is coming to you offering all that they have. What's going on here? Two of Swords. All right, this could be somebody at a crossroads. Somebody rushing in. Somebody wants to say something. You could be blocked off from this person or this, like, um, this is a decision. Yeah, there's an emperor. There's somebody who wants to come in, rush in and, and say something to you and make you this offer. This page of cups could be a, a gesture, a, um, a love gesture, but it's like, 
This could be somebody who's like emotionally immature. This could be somebody who may be a little childish. Maybe you view them as childish. This, this could even be a child of yours. I don't know. There could be a child coming in to like give you something. You know how um, maybe your child like picked a flower or something and wants to give to you. Okay. I don't know. Um, that was just specific for somebody. But I'm getting you. You're blocking something off or you're. Let's see. Let me get one more. What is this? What is this? You have the world card. Cutting something off or ending something. Yeah. I I heard there's a new cycle beginning though. Like the world card does talk about um endings, but closing out a cycle or a chapter. But it's it's about new beginnings. It's about going to the next chapter, the next phase. Like um, it's like yeah, you've done, you've closed out one cycle and you're ready to go on another, right? Yeah. The Knight of Cups, there's an offer. So now I feel like this is like somebody wanting to make you an offer. So this could be somebody that, um, I don't know, I feel like the offer has grown or there could be two offers here. And I, with this Two of Swords, you can have a decision to make. It looks like there's two offers of somebody who, um, there's two people who want to go to the next chapter with you, the next phase, okay? This could be a relationship. This could be a business partnership. This could be whatever, however it applies to you, okay? Um, but it looks like there's two people who want to um, go to the next chapter with you or to the next phase with you, take things to the next level with you, all right? And it, it does feel, it could be romantic here with the cups, all right? But there's two offers and um, one offer is... Um, I want to say better than the other, maybe bigger than the other, or maybe like a little bit more mature. But it's like you have a, a younger person and maybe like, uh, this, not an older person. Maybe this person is around the same age as you. All right, this other person, but and there's also a person that's younger than you, okay. And they want me to say slightly younger, so I don't know what slightly younger means, but it looks like you have a choice to make because you looks like you're single. There's an offer coming in here. Um, the somebody wants to make you an offer, but it's like this person could be like kind of shy as well. Maybe they don't even want to really make you this offer because they're kind of afraid that you're gonna like cut them off or you're gonna tell them that it's not enough or you know whatever. This is somebody who feels like they don't have enough to to offer you, but they want to put their they want to be in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like they. They feel like their offer is not going to be enough, but they know that there are other offers on the table. So they at least want to get their offer in there. OK, just to say that they did it. And it seems like this person could be a little shy. Um, yeah, not very stable in their emotions or not really knowing how to handle or deal with their emotions. OK, or express their emotions. Thank you, spirit. Not really knowing how to express themselves or express their emotions in the right type of way. OK, and then. It looks like there's another person on the other end who, you know, is a little more emotionally mature, a little more. They they know how to, they got kind of like a bigger cup. They, okay, it's kind of, why am I getting that? It's like you going out on a date, right? There's two people that want to take you out on a date. One person doesn't have a car. And the other person does. But they both like you. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. That probably don't make no damn sense. But anyways. 
Um, yeah, there's definitely somebody here that's waiting. Somebody wants to make you an offer here. Wow, you have the King of Swords, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the King Queen of Swords. So this is like your counterpart, or at least one of these people. And the way I'm looking at this too, um, this could be one person. This could be the same person that maybe was not emotionally mature in the past, but now it's like they're a little bit more emotionally mature. They're they're learning, they're growing here, and they the offer that they have a little bit more to offer you now than maybe they did before, okay? They've grown a little more, okay? And they want you to, to see that. They want to make you this offer. But it looks like you've been manifesting love. You've been manifesting a counterpart. And for some of you, it's one person. For some of you, it's two people, all right? Okay. Yeah, because somebody could have just gone through like a breakup or something like that recently. But they're ready to move on now. All right. So they're not in they're They're ready to move on. All right. But that's just the energy that I'm getting. So let's just see. I'm going to clarify to see what's what. Okay. Has the seven of swords, the seven of cups, and the six of wands. I wanted to say spilling out. I don't know why I was about to say spilling out. Something is spilling, something is spilling out, spilling over. It could be that ace of cups energy that we were talking about, or somebody is about to, I don't know, some I heard erupt like a volcano. I don't know. There's I saw the um knight of wands again. I saw the I just saw the nine of pentacles again. Somebody rushing towards you, wanting to say something to you. It's almost like somebody wants to be the first to get to you or something like that here. Because it looks like somebody wants you to choose them. And somebody has like a plan or something to like come to you first or to get to you faster than somebody else. Or before you get into some type of commitment or something like that. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth. Somebody's had some type of epiphany here. Somebody's been watching you. Okay. Yeah, two of swords again. It looks like a choice. There's a choice here. I would say there's two energies, though. Um, for some of you, it could be one. But I would definitely say, I would say that there's two energies because of the two of swords here. And the two of swords talks about being at a crossroads, making an, um, needing to make a decision, okay? Or a choice. Yeah, it feels like it could be heavily burdening you. Or it will be if it hasn't happened yet. So yeah, see, four of swords, just laying back, thinking, thinking it over, and contemplating on what you're going to do. Clarify the nine of pentacles here. Yeah, it's like the, whoever this page energy is, or this younger energy is, you're you're questioning whether or not you should trust this person, whether or not you should trust this offer, accept this offer, whether or not this person's motives are like, um, I heard innocent. Uh, that's not what I was trying to say, though. Whether or not this person's motives are, I'm hearing innocent, secure, genuine. Yeah, thank you. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the lover's card and the star card and the four of cups. So this looks like somebody has their eye on you. So you're you're somebody's wish fulfillment here with the lover's card and the star card. Somebody's really hoping and wishing for you to accept this offer and that you don't reject them or turn this offer away or turn them away, okay? Whoever this this person is, this page energy, this young energy. Yeah, somebody's just hoping and wishing that you don't um that you don't turn them away. I'm getting Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo energy um pretty strongly right now for this energy. But with this five let me see what this five of swords is, because you don't mm, huh. what's this five of swords energy? Cause this is somebody who, you know, will do whatever it takes to win you over or something like that. Even if they have to cut other people down or, mm -hmm. what's the five of swords? 
Okay, you got two that wants to fall out. You have the um, Five of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So, I'm hearing frightened. So, I was about to say somebody's being left, um, could be being left out in the cold. But it, this, they're giving me somebody is frightened of being left out in the cold. So, whoever this person is that's rushing in with this um well i don't really know which one it is yet i mean i'm saying it's the page energy because you had the page of pentacles that come out here but it i just feel like one of these energies you don't know whether you should trust or not and this person is like frightened they're rushing in to confess their feelings and their emotions because they're scared that they're about to like miss out on an opportunity with you or that you're gonna leave them out in the cold yeah third party three of cups i definitely feel like this is um you know a third party type of three people in this situation and this person yeah somebody one of these people are afraid that of being left out in the cold of being left behind all right so tell me about this page of cups. Who's this page of cups? What do we need to know about this page of cups energy? Okay, you have the hermit. And you have... Um, my kids just got home, y'all. So if y'all hear that, three of, cups, three of swords on the bottom of the deck. So with this page of cups, this, with this hermit card coming out here and the five of pentacles, it looks like somebody could have ghosted another person. Now, I don't know if this is somebody who ghosted you in the past or if you ghosted this person or if this person is ghosting a third party, someone outside of the two of you in order to come in and make you this offer. OK, it looks like somebody is now alone, single. They're no longer dealing with a third party. They've left a, a third party situation. Yeah, with the three of swords here, it looks like some type of situation is done with. Okay, and then, yeah, Ace of Pentacles wanted to make an offer to who? The Queen of Swords. This is your energy, all right? Yeah, Six of um, Wands, hoping to have a victory, but really in their head about this situation. Like I said, this Page of Cups energy seems to be very much in their head. Four of Wands the Emperor, and the uh, Nine of Swords. Hmm. The, okay, hold on. Page of Cups. Again, wow. Okay. Huh. And the Two of Swords. And the Hangman. Yeah, this, this person is very, 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 very worried about being blocked out, whoever this is. This person is very worried about being blocked out yeah from you the empress wow you got the emperor and the empress out here is this your counterpart whoever this page of cups is or either being blocked off because you're going toward your counterpart huh okay let's keep going clarify the two of swords I'm hearing Johnny. I just heard Johnny two times. So somebody name maybe like Johnny Johnny or John John or something like that. See, yeah, um, Two of Swords is about a choice or a decision. Four of Cups is about being um, missing out on an opportunity. Somebody does not want you to like turn them down or block them out or or something like that. So this person could have a plan. Um, yeah, to like rush towards you. I feel like, and with this. Yeah, I feel like this person is just very much contemplating about how they can get to the front, how they can be seen as the 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 front person. Like, but you got the ten of, ten of swords to the seven of swords. Why do I feel like this this is just somebody that's going to be like devastated if you don't choose them? Tell me about the two of swords. Why is it here? Why the four of cups to the two of swords here? Somebody um may have a kid. Somebody could be listening to Johnny Johnny. And Johnny Johnny, yes, Papa. Somebody's name is Johnny or John or Jonathan or Johnson. Okay. 
Um, two of Swords. More decision making. Wow. Ten of Cups. So it definitely looks like you're going to have a decision about who you want to receive this Ten of Cups from or who you want to have this happiness with or this joy with or who you want to just be with. And somebody is definitely going to be sad and miserable and, you know, hurt with the Five of Cups here. Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Cups to the King of Swords. Yeah, there's three people in this daggone thing. Knight of Cups, there's the offer. Yeah, somebody's going to have to, you know, I mean, there, there's obviously you're going to have to, you're going to choose to walk away from somebody in this situation. Now, you may be walking away from both people. You may be walking away from just one. You could choose an entirely different person altogether that doesn't have anything to do with these two people here, okay? But um, either way in this situation, somebody's going to be, you know, maybe feelings hurt or left out in the cold or something like that. There's definitely a, a decision or a choice here. All right, tell me about the world card. I just heard somebody say tough titties. <laughs> what? Tell me about the world card. Oh, that's too many. Uh-uh. That's way too many. Oh, look at that. World card on the bottom of the deck. Wow. With the six of cups and the empress and the justice and the fucking two of swords again. The strength. For some of you, you may be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, you could be dealing with another Libra. Virgo, Taurus, energy out here. Aquarius. Okay. Um, I... S God, there's, there's definitely somebody from your past here. I don't know if one of these people are from your past or both of them. I heard possibly both um, people are from your past here. So, uh, Empress to the Justice, this is you. This is all your energy. The Empress to the Justice and the Two of Swords is all you. The World card. Some of you may be stepping into a new phase with a past person or you're ending a cycle out with the past person and focusing on yourself. So some of you could be, like I said, in and out the cycle or chapter with both of these options and just focusing on yourself. All right. Tell me why the world card is here. Yeah. With the world card showing up twice, you may be saying no to both offers and wanting something entirely different, entirely new. Both of these people could be past people or people that you've already dealt with. What's the world card? God, look at this crap. Look, look. I mean, not crap, but look at this. Wow. Wow. I feel like you're going to say no to both offers, Libra. I feel like you're going to say no to both offers. You got news here with the page of, um, yeah, magician. I feel like because you're manifesting new. So I feel like you may turn down both of these offers. I heard both of these pillars of salt. So it's like that not looking back type of energy. And then you got the Knight of Cups coming out here with the Five of Wands. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. You got a lot of double energy coming out here. The Page of Cups showed up again when we were clarifying this Page of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles showed up twice. Um, the Two of Swords keeps showing up. The Four of uh, Cups have shown up twice. So it looks like two people that you missed an, that feels like they missed an opportunity out with you that want to come back in to um, reconcile or compete for your attention, your affection, or your heart. And it looks like you saying no to both of these people. And, um, and there may be a third offer coming in. Cause this with this offer, it looks like a, like a struggle of an um um like a back and forth, like a mental thing, like you trying to decide like what to do. Cause the five of uh, wands can be a mental conflict here, or it could be people fighting over you, or competing for you for your attention. Yeah, somebody really wants to talk to you. It could be people competing for your attention. Several offers coming in. If y'all watch um didn't watch my live, y'all may want to go watch it. I was um because something came up about 
Um, if you're dating several people, there's somebody that wants to be exclusive with you, but you may want to keep dating several people or something like that. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, this is so much. Yeah, I, I just see you guys manifesting new. Hold on, that was, that was a lot. See, tower moment here. Tell me about the um, Knight of Cups. The Justice. Yep, I feel like, yeah, the Death card and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're focusing on yourself, Libra. Yeah, Eight of um, eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. You may be seeing eight, eight. 88 may be significant. Somebody could be born in 88 or 89 here. You have the Nine of um, Wands out here or 98. 97 or 87 or 78 or 79 but it looks like working on yourself and putting like a wall up and just not maybe you're just not ready to you know date or be with anybody exclusively or something like that here okay why is the justice card here why is the justice card here yeah four of swords like in deep contemplation or meditation or really like thinking or analyzing something it's like just and and this card is giving me very peaceful too so it's like being at peace with yourself and in your energy yeah the high priestess i don't feel like you want to date or at least you not interested in dating either one of these people yeah because i feel like you shutting down communication <laughs> there's the communication coming in with the eight of wands some of you know what's coming with the high priestess here remember i was saying that you were intuitive here some of you can have pisces as your moon or rising sign okay maybe even your north node or venus some of you could have um yeah i'm here in fourth house I don't know what the fourth house is, honestly, but I don't know. But I mean, you have a Pisces placement in your fourth house um, or your Jupiter. Yeah. Somebody specifically in your Venus and rising. All right. But anyway, you have Scorpio placements, too. Or this could be this, or something about a Scorpio or a Pisces. I'm seeing Libra, Virgo, um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. I'm just looking at the majors right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ace of swords it's like shutting down the any type of communication that's coming in and then holding back your energy because you're trying to balance yourself out you're trying to move on from the past here you don't want to deal with with that okay and you don't trust it and you just want to keep being single going from the nine of ten of pentacles to the ten of cups it's like building yourself up and focusing on you and you're like yeah i'm good on both of you i'm okay thanks but no thanks <laughs> yeah because it's like you could be waiting and maybe you want something you want something new. And I, I feel like you're standing in your power and you're like, I'm not going to move from this spot and I'm not going to get up unless it's for something new. OK, or a better offer. Yeah, the lover's card. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's that Libra. So I'm going to leave it right here, Libra. I hope that something helped. Um. You know, and if you guys want to book a personal with me, remember my information is in the description box below. Just click on the title and you will see everything you need to see. And I will see y'all in the next reading. All right. Bye, my loves.